Yo, yo, what's happening? It's your boy Simon from AFC Predict. Please like and subscribe the page. We're out here trying to get all gooners on board in a nice, friendly manner. Trying to get them to understand, man. There's nice platforms out there, man, where you just say a little piece, not too long, and give, give you know, your prediction on what you think is going to happen, and your review when things go right and when things go wrong. So, is my Bournemouth review. Very pleased. Very fucking pleased. Very pleased. You know what? It's like a, like a broken record. I said that as well many times. Meza Ozil against the smaller teams. Different gravy. He's elite talent. They always say talent gets you so far. But yeah, like, you know, we've got a top six. Everyone outside our top six, he can just smoke all of them. Easy. And that's what he done yesterday. Like, the way he managed to, like, score that goal, that's just... That's a genius. That's what genius does. So I think he's got to play against all the small teams, and that gets you higher up the table. You know, where you end up finishing then should be down to what you do against the bigger teams. You know? And, like, you know, we played United already this season, drawn, Tottenham already, you know, um, beat them. Chelsea lost and won. Man City lost both, which most teams would do, to be fair. And then Liverpool, you know, won one, which we, no, drew one, which we should have won. And then uh, lost one heavily. So, but our position's more dictated than what we're doing against the smaller teams. We've got, we've got to play him. We've got to play him against smaller teams. I thought he was, he was delightful. He was delightful last night. And it was nice to see the quality shining through. And that's what I'm saying. We're Arsenal Football Club when we have quality players. We could be Arsenal Football Club and have shit players. Don't get me wrong, but we... That's never been the case. Lacazette, you know, Obama Yang, you know, we've got players in Torreira and Gondosi, and you look around the pitch, and there's there's a lot to be hopeful about. So for me now, it's a case of really picking up the points where you can, like where you should be able to season after season after season. So I'm pleased with what I saw last night, man. Good goals, tenacity. I mean, we gave away another sloppy goal, but that's the way you respond, man. If they score one, we score five. Fuck it. That's the way it should be going forward, you know? So it, it's momentum, though. That's what I ask for, you know? Like, after the, the Barté horror show, the Barté backside Boris of horror show on Valentine's Day, yeah, man, like, you've you got three wins in a row now. That's what you want. You can't, you can't ask for any more than scoring five and then scoring three and then score. how much we scored a weekend against Southampton two you know what I'm saying like have I done the match there ten goals in three games can't really ask for more than that so now now it's on to Tottenham man they say form goes out the window I don't really believe in that I don't really believe in that if you're in good form and you're going into a derby it's not like the old days where you know you're like little leprechauns like Gordon Strachan running around kicking you because like you're more talented than them it's not the case anymore so, I'm looking forward to it, man. But I'm really pleased, really, really pleased with the, the Bournemouth performance, man. But yeah, please like and subscribe to the page, guys. Signing up.